So, I am a poofy, frizzy mess today. <laughs> but my hair is very soft. My hair can either be soft and poofy, or not soft and put together. And today I chose soft. But hello, it's Angela, and I'm here to do the N is for Novella book tag. I was tagged by Kayla from Cracking Into a Good Book, and I'm really happy to do it. It was kind of hard to come up with books to answer these prompts, but I did my best. The first one is what is a novella you've read recently? And for me, that was The Test. This is 100 pages or a two hour audiobook. You should definitely read it. All I can tell you is it's about a man taking a citizenship test and it does have Black Mirror vibes. And that's all I wanna say, because otherwise I spoil the whole thing and there's no point in you reading it. So I would pick that up. It was a really intriguing afternoon when I dived into that. And the second one is a book that focuses on neighbors. And I really had to think, and then I got torn between Little Fires Everywhere and La Rose, and I landed on La Rose because the plot of that one is based on a family atoning for the loss of their neighbor's child because the husband while hunting accidentally kills the child who was where he shouldn't have been. And they atone by essentially giving their son La Rose to this family. And I felt like being neighbors was a central point of this plot. And it's also about neighboring communities. It's about this Native American reservation that's neighboring the suburb that is in the U.S. jurisdiction. And it's about those communities. They have, you know, competing volleyball teams. It's just, I love that book. It's one of my favorites. It's on my favorite non-fantasy books list, if you haven't seen that. So definitely my recommendation and my answer for number two. Now, three is N is for name. A writer you'd recommend with the first and or last name starts with N. And this is, hands down, N.K. Jemison. I think her first name's Nora. But she's one of my favorite authors now. I've read two of her trilogies, the Broken Earth trilogy and the Inheritance trilogy. I love both of them. I love how she writes. I love what she brings to the genre. It's so unique. It's so different structurally. It's so different with cultures and characters, with magic. I love it. It's great. She has a new book coming out this year, and you can best believe I'm reading it very soon. N.K. Jemisin, a wonderful adult fantasy slash science fiction writer. Check her out if you haven't already. Number four is N is for Nuptials, a work fiction that didn't suck about a wedding. And I think this is Princess Bride for me, which I haven't read in a very long time, but I adore the movie and I remember liking the book. And Princess Bride is a classic. I mean, I don't think it's a classic in the sense that it is super old, but it's a timeless work of fiction where you have Princess Buttercup who is going to marry a man she doesn't love. And it's about love conquering all and just it's fantastical. It's great. Check it out, man. It's, it's super fun. I think you can do the movie or the book or both. I did both because I'm crazy, but that's my choice for the nuptials prompt. And five is not aging well. And I kind of figured this would be more young adultish because most of those maybe, I mean, wouldn't age well as I grew up. And this for me is a great and terrible beauty and kind of that whole, I think it's a trilogy. It's been a long time. I remember really liking it when I read it as a teenager, but I don't remember much about it. And I feel like a lot of the themes in it now probably wouldn't mesh well with me. I'd have to read it again, but I also don't really want to read it again, which is why I think it's not aging well. It used to be something I really enjoyed reading. And I think now it's either a guilty pleasure or it hasn't aged well. And I don't know which one it is. So that's the one I think I'm going to put there. But really, I don't remember too much about it. So, and then six is N is for a, like a number of N's in the name, which is like really hard. A lot of books have like two N's, but to get more than that. But I did find one and it's Anne Unkindness of Ghosts, which is a wonderful science fiction book. And this book takes place on a spaceship in space. They have to leave Earth because basically Earth was no longer habitable. And this spaceship, it's, it, it does have prejudice and racism and a caste system. Black people are below white people. And it's about a medical person. She is black. She has this mystery of her mother's death she's trying to uncover. And she's trying to make sure she can make it through life on this ship. 
From what I can remember, she has a close friend who is less than stable. It really was a fascinating science fiction read, one I probably should pick up again sometime soon, but I really liked this work enough that I want to look into um, a recent short work by that author called The Deep. So, yeah, Unkindness of Ghosts, there's like, I think, four ends in there. So that's what I did for this prompt. And seven is N is for Not Sure. A book you keep changing your mind about if you want to pick it up or not. And I think, I, at first I had Leviathan's Wake, but I think I've decided I want to pick this up at some point. And so now I'm kind of on Mark Lawrence's um, it's the series with the Holy Sister. I will post an image of the first book. I can't quite remember it now because the first book I picked up by Mark Lawrence was Prince of Thorns. I didn't even get that far into it. It was 40 or 50 pages. There was really nothing egregious about it. I was just reading it and I wasn't having a great time with it. It was just the writing style, really. And I know a lot of people don't like it because of the main character being so evil, but I didn't get far enough, I think, to really let that sink in. So now I'm really hesitant to pick up other works by him because if I just don't like his writing style, no amount of different plot is going to help me with that. So I keep going back and forth about that. Maybe I'll pick it up one day. Maybe I won't. I am not sure. And number eight is nitpick. Small literary things that get on my nerves. I think the biggest one is fantasy book names. I hate how generic they all are. I really want them to be better and more unique. I want to not forget the names of books. Like, I just finished the Inheritance Trilogy. Well, we also have the Inheritance Cycle. In the Inheritance Trilogy, I, I think one book is The Broken Kingdoms, the other one is Kingdom of Gods, and the first one is a, The 100,000 Kingdoms, and I forget them all a lot. Like, this took me a lot. It was a lot of work. Last year, I read City of Brass and then City of Stairs. Those are different tr those are different series and authors, and I'm so just done with generic fantasy names. That uh, sometimes they do matter for the book like they are related, but I just they're all really hard for me to remember and I feel like they're very generic and we could do better. So that's my uh yeah, that's my main one, and I guess the secondary one is I hate when I get distanced from characters, like people write in a way that's purposely making it so I can't understand them. But that's that's a smaller one. I think I get more upset about fantasy book names and not being able to remember them, because my memory is actually pretty good, and I just don't know why I can't remember them ever. <laughs> and so N is for Next to Nothing, a book I read as an adult and I can barely remember. And this is, um, have you ever had a family? I read this for book club like two years ago. I gave it five stars. I could not tell you what it's about. I cannot remember. I remember really liking it and that's it. So maybe I didn't really like it if I can't remember it, but yeah, I was going through my Goodreads and I'm like, what was that about? I just remembered liking it. I remember not everyone else liked it, but I was compelled to keep reading the whole time. I was very intrigued. So yeah, that's my next to nothing. 10 is N is for New Zealand. So I had to look up a book by a New Zealand author because I've not read any New Zealand authors. And the one I chose is The Bone People. This actually won the Booker Award. So it actually pre really is kind of intriguing. I might um, put it forward as a recommendation for my book club because we do read a lot of books like that. And it, it looked intriguing. I don't know much about it other than I read a brief synopsis. And I was like, oh, that'd be cool. And then 11 is N is for Nodding Off, and it's a mind-numbingly boring book. And I put down The English Patient. This book's supposed to be a great romance. I couldn't tell that from reading it, if I'm being very honest. I read the book, because it's only like 280 pages. It's barely a, not a novella. And then I decided, I'm going to get the movie. The movie is so good. <laughs> I was like, oh... These people are actually really in love. Like, it was written in such a dry and boring way that I totally missed that there, there was a romance. Well, I didn't miss it, but there was one point where I'm like, oh, this should be really exciting. This guy's like a double-crossing agent thing. Like, that should be so cool. And it was so boringly presented to me. I was just like, what? So, yeah, The English Patient. I, I don't like it. I think I gave it, like, two stars. <laughs> and 12 is next on my list. 
currently reading Renegades and probably picking up The Great Alone soon because it's due to my library soon. And that's usually how my TBR works. I'm not a big mood reader. I typically just read what needs to be read because the library won't let me um, extend my return and I'd like not to pay library fines if I can avoid it. So yeah. So now this next one is N is now it's your turn to tag. And I figured I would tag oh, a handful, a half dozen of people. But obviously anyone's tagged. And I'm trying not to tag people I've tagged too often or too recently because I know people have, you know, I want to be cognizant of the fact that people are filming other videos and might not have time to do a million tag videos. And so first is Miss Richards Reads. She's a new person. I've been watching her vlogs, and she has Monday Manic Reviews, and those have been pretty fun. Um, Rajathon, he has a very good adult fantasy and science fiction channel you should check out. He's really good at helping you decide if you should read a book or not with his reviews. Um, the Book Finch, I really liked watching her recent wrap-up. I think she's very good at describing books in a way that doesn't spoil them, but also at least really let me know if I should pick them up or not. And she reads a very diverse range of books, at least she did for that wrap-up. Um, I'm going to tag Science Mama again because I can't resist because I think this is a fun tag. So that's it. That's the N is, N is for something tag. N is for novella tag. Thanks again, Kayla, for tagging me. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye.